I'm KSBI news reporter Sophia Bialba covering your community in Morro Bay. A wave advisory is currently in effect for all western beaches with waves reaching as high as 10 to 14 feet. A storm in the North Pacific is driving these high waves. While the storm itself will not reach the central coast, the waves brought on by it will. We're basically having our boat crews watch that. Uh, we update the bar or the RNA, so it's the inlet to Morro Bay, every single three hours. Uh, if there's inclement weather, every hour we're monitoring it, uh, either by having a boat underway or by visually just from the best lookout. The Coast Guard says it's not very common that surfers need rescuing during high surf advisories. However, some surfers are still cautious. I'd say I'm still hunting for the wave, but if it's too big, I'm not going out. You know, I'll know my limits, at least for myself. Yeah. Other surfers enjoy catching the big waves. I will. I don't know that I'd recommend for everybody to go surfing, but yeah, purely depends on what your confidence level is. High surf advisories are not rare during this time of year. However, dangerous rip currents and sneaker waves can occur. The moment that we see weather, uh, we'll actually go in and impose uh, possibly a bar restriction. So that would keep a certain size boat from going out if it was dangerous for that boat. Fall and winter are generally known for the best surfing conditions locally with frequent swells all year. The wave advisory is currently in effect until Friday at 9 a.m. In Morro Bay, Sophia Vialba, KSBY News.